camera one rolling camera two rolling hello and welcome to another video on this channel i'm rohit you know me here as toll free traveler and today after what seems like forever we are outside the house inside a helmet and on a motorcycle let me first introduce you to the bike that i've been riding over the last few days this here is the bajaj dominar 250 Ignition on, kill switch off, stand up. Ooh, this motorcycle definitely sounds good. Let's go. This motorcycle reminds me of the first bike I owned in life, which was the Bajaj Pulsar 180 DTSI. I was in college. Until then, the only bikes I'd ridden—I mean, I'd ridden scooters, the kinetic Honda, the Honda Activa—and then I learned to ride a bike on my friend's TVS Victor. I'd ridden like Hero Honda Splendors, and eventually in Pune, I rode a friend's 180 DTSI Pulsar, the 2004 model. which back then was the coolest motorcycle one could probably buy i rode his bike and it blew my mind coming in from 100 cc motorcycles and stuff i couldn't believe just how well the 180 dtsi ran and it got me really excited i used to borrow the bike from him every opportunity that i got and go out for a ride and then return it to him eventually a few years after i met Varun he was moving away to the US to study and I said just two things to him I said good luck congratulations on getting into the college that you wanted to get into and two please sell me your motorcycle that's how I got my first bike and believe me that 180 was a turning point in my life I absolutely enjoyed that motorcycle it was the most thrilling motorcycle that I'd ridden then and it just made every single day better at that point in time in many ways i feel like this 250 cc segment is today what the 180 was about 10 years ago now this motorcycle inherits a lot from the dominar 400 essentially it's built on the same chassis it's built with a lot of the same parts the top part of the bike is basically the same as the D400 except for the instrument cluster which is from a 2018 version of the Dominar 400 and not the 2019 version we'll talk about that a little bit later but smaller tires smaller engine slightly smaller front forks smaller brake discs and a different swing arm essentially unless you look at it from the rear wheel which looks noticeably smaller this bike basically looks like the Dominar 400 which is a good thing because the Dominar 400 is a very good looking motorcycle there's no denying it i love the muscular look and the clean lines and it's good to see that on this bike it's not like the Pulsar 135 which is noticeably a much tinier motorcycle it also inherits a few not so good things from the D400 namely the pretty terrible turning radius i've never been a fan of that and also to a large extent the weight the weight at least is a good and a bad thing it's a bad thing when you're riding at slow speeds or you're trying to take a u turn or pull it out of parking and things like that because it makes this bike a little bit difficult to handle but it's a good thing when you're out on a road like this and trying to stay steady at higher speeds as well the longer wheel base and the weight combined to give you a very stable ride experience even on this 250 version of the motorcycle the bike feels very easy to ride easy to maneuver feels well planted on the ground and generally you don't really find yourself wishing like you had 
bigger or thicker or fatter tires on this particular motorcycle so that was a pleasant surprise also in terms of braking i think uh, just the fact that you know that it has smaller discs you expect that performance is not going to be so great yeah it might not have the same amount of bite as the domina 400 but you're not riding this bike at the same kinds of speeds so it's quite okay overall as long as you sort of get used to the braking on this motorcycle the good news is that it still brakes well and it still is very stable when it's braking which i think is more important overall that having been said there are a couple of things that i find noticeably missing on this bike primarily in terms of the instrument cluster i wish they'd given us a gear shift indicator and some sort of a range indicator because if this bike is really meant for people who are sort of graduating into a higher level of motorcycling those two things those two pieces of information are hugely relevant and can make a huge difference to just the convenience of motorcycling especially if you're just getting into touring and stuff like that one of the things i really really like on this bike is the clutch the clutch is really smooth very light very easy to use which makes it much more convenient to ride a bike like this through some level of traffic the gears are smooth too first and second fall quite smoothly it's a little bit more clunky third to sixth but downshifting is very smooth so no real complaints there it's in fact one of the nicer things about this bike it makes it a lot more easy to ride it through traffic anyway after having put in a few hundred kilometers on this motorcycle i'll tell you this much if you're someone who's in love with the domina 400 and curious to know whether this bike is in any way better than the domina 400 then that's not happening i feel like what bajaj has tried to do over here with this d250 is to create a lighter a more controllable a more manageable obviously a less expensive and more tame version of the dominar that in my opinion will be more appealing to younger riders not younger in terms of age alone also people who are newer to motorcycles newer to motorcycle touring newer to more powerful motorcycles basically so maybe someone who's just buying a new bike for the first time maybe someone who's been riding 100 cc bikes or is upgrading from a scooter or something of that sort for people like that this bike here is an interesting step up or an upgrade in life if i remember correctly when the 400 was launched it was launched at about 1.65x showroom and now that was really aggressive pricing this time around i feel like uh, the pricing is a bit on the higher side but again i think everything has changed because the 250cc segment pricing has changed so compared to competition it's still a pretty good deal but i do think it's a little bit expensive so you're going to have to pay a little bit of a premium for the experience of a more powerful and exciting motorcycle to ride oh man it looks like the rain is going to come great weather to be out riding i'm glad i got to ride this bike and i'm glad i got to make a little video sharing my experience with all of you again i'm not a motorcycle reviewer what i'm just trying to do is share with you my first impressions of this bike connect to my own personal experiences with motorcycles and give you some feedback and information from that perspective and on that note i'm going to wrap up this video over here i'm going to spend the rest of the evening riding this motorcycle around because this weather is pretty perfect and i might as well have fun with it as long as i have it right thank you for watching this video i will catch you guys in the next one